My name is Sue Coy. I'm 40 years old, and I go to Palomar College in San Marcos, California. Sue, see if you can figure out something like the shelter capacity of San Diego County using GIS. Okay. My mom thought that the uh, E was silent, so you know she didn't need it. So that was that was pretty cool. This is a problem already. I'm an explorer, you know, so I like to go to go do things. I don't even know if you can. It's gonna be in your power settings. I'm constantly trying to improve the earth. I think a lot about safety. I study GIS. GIS is Geographical Information Systems, and to the layman, let's just make it easy. If you ever use Google Maps, that's GIS. I got an A. Okay, here comes the honesty on this. I was very lost for a long time, okay? I had no direction, and um, I never really thought anything about education. I ended up actually out on the streets. I dabbled into things I shouldn't have. And that is the turning point of my life. I did not want to die, and I knew that education would get me to where I need to go. I got my high school diploma and decided to come to the community college to get an education. GIS has now become this thing that's prolific across society, and I think that's where we're headed with GIS. It's just going to be so integrated with everything else in society, it's going to be a given. People may not even know the words GIS and what it stands for or anything, but they'll be using it. It'll be just part of their life. You have at your hands the ability to, to make anything from um, your favorite hiking trail to um, doing something on a larger scale as I have done when we had the Eagle Fire here last year. The Eagle Fire, a massive brush fire still burning in the East County. The Eagle Fire was a pretty dangerous situation and it was encroaching onto one of the Indian reservations. Hey Sue, come on. Hi, how it's are you? It's great to see you. Nice to see you too. Let's go look at some maps. Through the AT program, I was able to intern with the Red Cross. And they needed to have a shape file for all of their emergency supply locations across two counties. They're going to have some problems if the fire is coming this way. This is going to close off. We're pushing everybody. Mm -hmm. They needed to you know the best routes, where our shelters can be, where the fire is moving, and if it's going to encroach on the reservations. What I do take away from it is a satisfaction in knowing that I have helped protect the lives of many people, including the firefighters. It's great to have your students who are getting this technical training that can benefit the projects that we're trying to get done. To have them come in, they know what they're doing, they get the project done, and we've got great data to use. What this has done has just allowed such a nice broad connection across the whole community so that integrates the college with the local community and really is is done a great deal to kind of connect us all together i've had the benefits of seeing what the ate program can do for me can you tell me a little bit more about the fundamentals of it where does the funding come from and such oh sure at stands for advanced technological education and it's a program that's funded by the national science foundation and so in the ATE grant that was awarded to Palomar College, we aim to advance geospatial technologies in our community. As a student now, I have a 3.7 GPA in college. My major influence is my mother. She's a survivor. She taught me how to become something that is worthwhile. This is my Advanced Technological Education Student Award for Excellence. This may just be a paper to most, but um, to me, <laughs> pardon me, <laughs> to me this just tells me if I keep going that I will be someone and I will be an important part of society and I make a difference and that is important. So. There's this.
You know, for anybody out there, if you don't know where you're going or you feel like you're lost or you feel, you know, less than or you don't know how to start, what you need to do is actually pick up the phone and call your local community college. Believe me, the people are willing to help. I am standing here telling you that it can be done. Anybody who has a dream, no matter what age, it's attainable.